Hi, my name is James Given. I am an uh, influencer manager at Total. Hi, I'm Patrick Lally. I am brand manager at Total War Three Kingdoms. What are you guys showing new here with Total War Three Kingdoms? What are we showing new here for Three Kingdoms? So we're, we're obviously here, this is the first kind of hands-on for Total War Three Kingdoms. Uh, we're showing up an epic siege battle with uh, uh, Sao Sao and, Lu, and Lu Bu. Lu Bu being the greatest warrior of the time and, and, and Sao Sao being the great strategic mind of the time. Um, we're showing off the jewels and also kind of like the whole way the characters work in the, in the game and also doing it in that kind of amazing epic battles that, you know, Total War is famous for. And also the awesome visual art style. The, the art team, if you don't mention this, they will get very angry. So to every interview, art style, art style, art style. So coming off of Total War Warhammer 2 and Thrones, what has your team learned from past Total War games that are applying to this new version? So it's actually separate teams that worked on uh, Thrones and Warhammer. This is kind of their, their historical uh, era team, we call them a TA. So they've uh, learned a lot from the other teams, but also they've been this game's been in development for a while now, and it's, it's kind of, they've been having their own um, what works best for this period based on the, the kind of the literature and the, the history that we're working with. So while it is, you, know, you always learn from the teams you're kind of near and in the same building as, this is kind of its own standalone, the next big step for Total War, the next kind of big step forward. So it's, it's, it's more of a, the epic major kind of step forward for Total War. Compared for the different time periods and like, um history we'll experience in this game. When, when it comes to the kind of Total War franchise overall and the, the ability for it to, to go to these kind of different eras and time periods, it, it can be absolutely amazing because you get the chance to learn like new periods of history. This is our first time in ancient China and the, the Three Kingdoms period and it's really, really exciting. First of all, how like that changes the way that the campaign, the battles look and also the heroes and the narrative, but also just how that exciting to bring in that kind of like story and, and, and time period to a, to, a, to a, 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 a group of people who have never seen it. Like I've learned so much history through playing Total War games and I'm sure a lot of people can do the same with uh, Precap. Do you feel like people can learn like and like be more knowledgeable about history playing most Total War games? Oh, for sure. Like when, when I, I put my personal story, like there's loads of time periods I knew very little about. I picked up a Total War game and I was able to learn it. It's an amazing tool for it. It makes you more interested. When I first saw the uh, announced trailer for Total War Three Kingdoms, I did not know anything about the the, the, the characters. Did not know about Lu Bei and uh, and Lu Bu and uh, and uh, and Dong Zhou and all these and the betrayals and that kind of like you know basically like that kind of ancient China, but that kind of Game of Thrones mentality of betrayals and allies and everything. You know, there's so many people being killed off. Due to, due to their actions and so on. It's absolutely amazing and very rich and perfect for a Total War game. That is pretty much the, the, the answer that I would have given. It, Total War is is this the easiest tool for learning history. It brings history to life. It makes it exciting. And it's it's, it's so much fun conquering any land, but particularly in this game, conquering China, a place we've never done before, Total War, having that, you know, uniting China under your banner and you becoming this kind of, this next great emperor and leader for and bringing prosperity for, for this wonderful land. It's, it's yeah, it's a huge, you guys talk about some of the new mechanics you're introducing uh, to this game for the first time. You mentioned a hero duel mechanic. Yeah, so that's uh, kind of true to the the, the soft material. Heroes duel quite a lot. When you have these large and light characters, people want to know what happens when two of them can meet. And you know, and, and this is what the hero duels are. That kind of the big uh, big ticket feature. How they clash and uh, between lots of wushu martial arts combat and flamboyance, and how they uh, become a spectacle on the battlefield. And that's kind of like a big a big feature for us with this game. You guys kind of went all out on your mocap. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I bet Patrick would know a lot more yeah, about that. I yeah. saw a lot of the footage, it's fun. Yeah, I, I was there certain days for the studio and it's an almost ambitious kind of approach to mocap. But given it's, it's very Wushu martial arts focused, we had uh, professionals who were experienced in that. We, uh, we've we been training that um, our staff for years. We've also had external uh, mocap directors coming into the studio for the first time with any Total War game. That was a huge thing we needed to nail and, and it's, it's you know, and you can see on, on the demo there that it's, it's coming together really nicely and it's, it's flamboyant, it's different, it's fresh. It's just, yeah, it makes it feel, uh, yeah, completely different. What are you guys most excited for people to experience with Total War Three Kingdoms? Uh, for, for, for me, is like learning about the history. Uh, my own personal journey on this, I've been going, I've been learning so much more about it as, as a kind of period of history I never knew much about. And I'm always, as a Total War player, can't wait to, to get to when we show off the campaigns. That is the thing that marries the whole thing together. You know, that's the kind of canvas where these battles will, will have so much meaning and so on. And that's going to be a really exciting thing to show off when we get there. 
yeah, that's that's kind of correct. For, for me, my, my favourite thing is the characters, and you've seen the characters kind of doing incredible things on battle. They do even greater things. They're, they're kind of even more powerful on the campaign, and that's where they kind of they are the beaten heart of Total War for Kingdoms, and they are the ones that will kind of define the future of ancient China during this period. When does Total War Three Kingdoms come out? Uh, it comes out spring next year.